first, third, and fifth period of classes. I just want to know if everything's okay. No answer. I wonder if this person is in trouble. Hey, please let me in. I want to help you. Hey, I thought I'll never get to see you again. I was worried about you when you didn't show up for school. Are you alright? You don't sound like yourself. Is there something wrong? If you don't want to talk about it, I understand. Oh, so you want me to come in? Well, I guess I have a couple of minutes or so to stick around. I see you made some renovations for your home. Nothing better than having a TV remote on the floor and skewed paintings on the wall. <laughs> I'm just kidding around. But seriously, I just want to know what's going on with you. I haven't seen you in school for the last couple of days, and I thought I should drop by to see you. Well, out of everyone in school, it looks like I'm the only one who cares. Besides, we used to hang out with each other, but it looks like we just- So, if you need something to say, you can go ahead and tell me what's troubling you. It's okay, you can cry, but if you feel like talking about it struggles you, you don't have to tell me. Here, just pause and take a deep breath. Breathe in for four seconds. Hold your breath for seven seconds. Good, good. Now release your breath for eight seconds. Okay, just keep doing that until you feel calm. Do you want me to bring you some water? Nothing is more calming than water. Unless you have green tea in your home, I can whip something up for you. That herbal tea can also calm your nerves, too. Okay, I'll just bring you some of that. Just relax on the couch while I get you a drink. Here you go. Do you feel calm now? Good. So, are you ready to talk about what's been going on? Oh, I see. I understand how much you're struggling. I'm sorry. It's hard to conquer anxiety and depression. It's like they're colliding to the point it's messing your life schedule. Oh, it's okay, it's okay. Come back to me now. Keep breathing. Remember the technique I told you about. Good. So how long have you been feeling like this? Oh, I see. And is your family or friends aware of the situation or no? Because if they aren't, my best suggestion is to tell either one and maybe they can help you. I know. It's hard to reach out because you don't know if anyone can understand. I know the brain is the strongest muscle, but it has limits too. But... I'm sure anyone out there, besides me, can understand what you've been going through. Believe me when I tell you this. Now, I know this might be sensitive to talk about, but have you been harming yourself? I see. Hmm? Why am I helping you? As I said before, I want to be here for you, and the teacher from the school told me that she has concerns for you, considering that we used to hang out. I know it wasn't her place, and you can say it wasn't my place either, but I just wanted to reach out, maybe lend you a hand. So, you're grateful that I came? Well, 
I'm happy to help you any way I can. How am I so good at this? Well, truth be told, I've been struggling with anxiety and depression, and I still have. But with the help of my loved ones, I know I can try to manage. I even learned some techniques through therapy, so I'm passing them to you to help. Hopefully, this helps. But if not, that's okay. People have their own ways to deal with it, but it's always important to breathe when you're in a stressful situation. You know, I do have a suggestion, and you don't have to take it. Just a thought. Do you want to hear it? Well, if none of your loved ones are not able to understand or help you, you can always call the hotline if you feel like, you know? Or, if possible, you can try therapy. Maybe it's not for everyone, but you can always give it a shot. Um, would it be helpful if I bring you along? I'm still taking therapy, and I wouldn't mind bringing you in to help. I'm also part of group therapy where we help each other out. But you can decide if you want to go either one of them or not. You want to come with me? That sounds wonderful. There's a therapy session tomorrow, unless you're not up to it. Okay, so do you want me to pick you up, or should we meet up there? I promise I'll give you the location. Great. I'm thrilled that you want to come with me. I know it's not easy, but just take the one foot in front of the other. It's the first step that you have to take, and I'll be here to help you in any way I can when no one else can. Everything will turn out okay. Maybe not right now, but eventually it will. Believe me.